There are many strange and bizarre foods available worldwide. Asia is a far-off continent for Westerners with amazing attractions and exotic, aromatic foods. Sometimes, Asian specialties like the 1,000-year-old egg or insects leave us dumbfounded. Since then, a wide variety of items in China have been transformed into edible forms. One of the world's biggest food varieties is found in China. You may discover scrumptious snacks, tourist traps, and downright repulsive items in each street market in China. These foods are renowned for several qualities, including their flavors, originality, and therapeutic value. Animals, plants, insects, and practically anything else may be used to create these delights. Discovering what today's video has in store for you may surprise you. From stinky tofu to soup made with bat meat, here are 20 most unusual foods that only exist in China. Number 20. Crocodile Meat In the southern Chinese province of Guangdong, many individuals have been known to consume this chicken-like flesh out of curiosity for its therapeutic properties. Because of this demand, Africa is currently seeing a boom in crocodile farming, with 85% of exports going to China, Hong Kong, and Taiwan combined. Crocodile exports from Africa to China totaled $196 million last year. There is a common saying in Guangdong that illustrates the region's obsession with exotic meats. There is nothing Guangdong residents wouldn't eat in the sky, aside from planes and on the ground, vehicles. This includes the delicious wild meat known as masked palm civet, which was connected to the SARS pandemic in 2003. But according to the Compendium of Materia Medicine, the crocodile has been used in traditional Chinese medicine since at least the Ming Dynasty in the 16th century. At that time, it was thought to be a highly nutritious meat that could treat respiratory conditions like asthma brought on by the predominance of disease-causing fang or wind. Crocodile flesh may be prepared in a variety of methods, such as stewing and boiling, among others. Crocodile flesh was recently seen being fried and grilled by hawkers and sold for 30 yuan, or $4.5 a skewer, in a night market in Shenyang in northern China. Crocodile farming in Africa isn't just done for food, though. One crocodile may bring between $50 to $69 from its meat sales and an additional $123 from its skin, which is used to make shoes, purses, and belts. Do you not consider it wasteful to throw away the meat when so many crocodiles are killed to make handbags? Before we begin, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Silkworms We all have our favorite, delectable meals from dim sum to peking duck to stewed lion's head in the pot, which we all know as the Chinese equivalent of meatballs. Chinese food is currently among the most popular fare in American restaurants, but I can't say that I've ever seen stir-fried or grilled silkworms on an American menu. Eating insects is a long-standing tradition in many Chinese cuisines. But in Wuzhen, the practice has recently come back into vogue due to skyrocketing rent. In certain regions of the world, insects are gradually shifting from a bother to a necessary ingredient in the food. The silkworm pupae, which are often offered as street food on skewers to be deep fried, are a traditional delicacy in northeastern China. Some believe that it has a flavor similar to shrimp shells. Although the inside meat has little flavor and resembles solid bean curd, it is deliciously seasoned. Market purchased living pupae can emerge as white moths and fly to the next mulberry tree, where they will find their only source of food. Number 18. Century Eggs Although it's unproven, it is said that the discovery of this Chinese delicacy took place about 600 years ago in Hunan, China, during the Ming Dynasty, when a homeowner found duck eggs in a small puddle of slaked lime that had been used for mortar during the two months before the discovery. Century eggs are common in China, particularly in the region of Hunan. The term millennium egg, thousand-year egg, or hundred-year egg are also used. When you have a lot of them, you may significantly extend the shelf life by using the preservation method. The century eggs are now offered in Chinese restaurants all over the world and are equally popular in China and Hong Kong. Number 19. 
Since its debut, it has been on display in the disgusting food museum. This dish is a mainstay in Chinese cuisine and is created using a combination of alkaline clay, quicklime, salt, and ash. It's frequently consumed with soy sauce or sesame oil together with kongi, a Chinese rice porridge. Although it might not be appreciated in Western society, it is a highly popular cuisine in Asia. For centuries, it's been common knowledge that eggs smell strongly like sulfur. Lactic acid bacteria found inside the eggshells are to blame for this. When these bacteria break down egg white carbohydrates, acetic acid is produced. The egg becomes more porous and easier to absorb moisture as a result of the carbon dioxide gas bubbles that this acidic substance creates inside the eggshells. As a result, the egg gets softer and darker in color. Number 17. Snake Soup As many as five distinct varieties of snake flesh may be found in snake soup, or sigang, as it is known in Cantonese. This hearty and savory soup, which is boiled with ingredients including chicken, pig bones, and spices, is particularly well-liked in Hong Kong in the winter. When cooked, the snake flesh is cut into thin slivers and resembles chicken in appearance and flavor, albeit is a little bit harder. Since the 3rd century BCE, the dish has been around. It was once thought of as a meal of luxury consumed only by the affluent, but in the 1700s, it expanded throughout China. The soup is a delicacy as well as a nutritional supplement and is renowned for being a substantial, comforting meal that is perfect for the winter. Snake flesh is regarded as a yang meal in Chinese medicine or food that warms the body. Therefore, snake soup is typically taken during the colder seasons to balance out the yin of winter. It is supposed to improve circulation and the skin and is known to treat conditions including arthritis. Number 16. Fried Seahorses the seahorses are kept in plastic boxes and glass jars at a series of stores in Xiongwan, on the western side of Hong Kong Island, with their elongated, S-shaped bodies piled like spoons. This area of Hong Kong serves as the commercial hub for traditional Chinese medicine, a dispensary-based system that treats illnesses with dried herbs and animal parts. Delivery vans and workers pulling trolleys laden with crates of dried mushrooms, herbs, fruit, and seahorses crowded into its winding streets. Seahorses are said to have Viagra-like properties in Chinese medicine. The main commercial center for dried animals is in Hong Kong. Approximately two-thirds of all seahorse imports from 2004 to 2017 came from Hong Kong, according to an examination of global trade statistics by Sarah Foster, program manager of Project Seahorse at the University of British Columbia in Canada. Their popularity as a remedy is reportedly boosting sales in China, Taiwan, and Indonesia, according to the World Wildlife Fund. No one is certain how many seahorses are still alive, but specialists warn that their existence is in danger. According to Li Xinglao, head of the School of Chinese Medicine at the University of Hong Kong, seahorses were first referenced in Chinese medical literature around 700 AD, although their use likely dates back much earlier. Chinese medical belief holds that seahorse is nutritious and increases body energy. The two conditions that dried seahorses are most frequently used to treat are asthma and male erectile dysfunction. Number 15. Turtle The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service exclusively monitored for incoming legal turtles 10 years ago. Now, about half of their efforts are concerned with outgoing. According to a Texas State University study, a total of 126 million freshwater turtles were exported from the United States between 2002 and 2012, many of which were illegally supplied to the food and animal markets in Asia. Common American varieties such as box turtles, mud turtles, and painted turtles are among the most prized abroad. In fact, a turtle worth a few hundred dollars in the U.S. is worth a few thousand dollars in Asia. Chinese culture is detrimental to turtles according to Ross Keister. a biologist with the Turtle Conservancy in New York City. In essence, he thinks that turtles are becoming the orchids of the animal world. The turtle population has been wiped off first by the Chinese. The Yunnan box turtle, one of the country's rarest natural species, sells for $200,000 on the black market and is transported internationally over the same trafficking routes used to transport weapons and illegal substances. Because they resemble turtles, a traditional symbol of longevity, soft-shell turtles are frequently consumed during Chinese 
New Year celebrations. Soft shell turtles that mimic turtles are eaten instead since humans don't often eat actual turtles. Soft shell turtle soup is a common preparation method. There may be different things added to the soup such as meatballs, vegetables, etc. Number 14. Animal Willies In China, a willy is a delicacy. So much so that there's a restaurant dedicated to feeding people phalluses of all size and origins, cooked in many different ways. Anyone interested in a whole yak willy or sheep testicles on a bed of curry? A Beijing restaurant serves painstakingly decorated gourmet dishes for the fearless. They're supposed to increase male potency, but women are advised to try a bite too. Apparently, the Chinese believe that eating willy is good for the skin. A simple visit to the Guolizhuang restaurant in Beijing is certainly not for the faint-hearted. Here, the menu consists almost entirely of willy and testicle dishes, made from the private regions of male deer, snakes, yaks, horses, seals, and ducks, among others. The whiter meat was better for the women, and the darker meat should be eaten by the men. Those who have tried this delicacy claim that the experience is not about the taste so much, but about the texture. There isn't a really strong flavor to it, especially when you dip it into a sauce, but there is a very distinct feel to the food as you chew it and let it slide down your throat. And while this may be a delicacy in China, surely it's all about the show for most of the customers because it's not the most pleasurable dining experience you can have in Beijing. Number 13. Bird's Nest Soup one of the most well-known yet divisive dishes in Chinese cuisine is bird's nest soup. The belief that eating this soup will keep them young, healthy, and strong has led to many individuals being willing to spend small fortunes on it. While many foods with unusual names are given their names based on how they look, such as pastries made from chow mein noodles and melted chocolate, bird's nest soup takes its name literally since it is produced from a genuine bird's nest. But if you're picturing the cute buildings bluebirds build out of wood and straw, you might want to reconsider. This soup's bird nests are not just randomly found in trees after being abandoned by their owners. The swiftlet, a little bird, often seen in Southeast Asia, is the source of these delectable bird's nests. The swiftlet uses echolocation, like bats, to navigate its underground home. However, the swiftlet builds its nest out of strands of its own sticky saliva, which is produced by the glands behind the mouth, rather than twigs and straw. When the nest is exposed to air, it hardens. The nest collector must utilize an extremely long, wobbly, and thin wooden ladder that they climb on top of in order to access the nests, which are often found at the top of caves. Numerous nest collectors have perished as a result of how perilous this is. Chinese cuisine has included this strange soup for many years. In some legends, Zhen He, a Chinese adventurer, diplomat, and fleet admiral, is said to have been the first person in Chinese history to eat bird's nest soup. Bird's nest soup was originally consumed by Chinese people during the Ming Dynasty. Number 12. Balut you may be asking what a balut is, and the answer is that it is essentially a fertilized duck or chicken egg with a fetus inside. It takes about three weeks for it to hatch, after which it is cooked and served in its shell. Okay, that seems cruel now that I think about it. However, China, Vietnam, Cambodia, and the Philippines are also big fans of this delicacy. It is often a street vendor that sells high-protein snacks. Because a little animal is beginning to grow inside the egg, it initially seems fairly disgusting. Sometimes the bones, the beak, and even the feathers are visible. Although there are some variances in the nutritional values of chicken and duck eggs, both include around 14 grams of crude protein, 188 calories, and about 100 milligrams of calcium. Both chicken and duck balut have almost the same nutritional content, while a duck egg may have a better nutritional value than a chicken egg, according to traditional Vietnamese medicine. These eggs are a nourishing and healing diet for expectant or new mothers. Number 11. Stinky Tofu Long after you finish eating it, Chao Du Fu's aroma lingers in your mouth. It hides on your hands, in your hair, in your clothes, and in your nose. <laughs> <laughs> Chu Dufu, which translates to stinky tofu, is moderately repulsive yet enticing when dipped into a deep fryer, releasing the strong scent of the brine in which it is fermented. The historic city of Shaoxing, which is located about an hour and a half by train southwest of Shanghai, 
is well known in China for a variety of things, including its literary history, its peculiar opera, and a network of narrow canals that rivals Amsterdam's. Furthermore, its most cherished dish, stinky tofu, is well renowned. Uncertainty surrounds the origin of stinky tofu. Although one legend holds that Xiao Xing's penchant for pungent cuisine stems in significant part from a scandalous event that took place during the Zhu era, which lasted from 770 BC to 476 BC. The nearby Wu state had recently defeated the Yu state, which contemporary Xiao Xing is now a part. The Wu monarch, Fu Chai, took the Yu king, Gu Jian, as a prisoner and subjected him to years of servitude. Fu Chai fell unwell at this time, and Gu Jian visited him. In an attempt to prove his allegiance, Gu Jian volunteered to make a forecast concerning Fu Chai's recuperation by analyzing his excrement. Gu Jian made it a point to taste it as well, since he was eager to win over his adversary. He then said that the monarch would soon recover. Fu Chai immediately gave Gu Jian his freedom after being sufficiently impressed. However, the Yu people were ashamed to learn about this scandal. The tradition claims that they made the decision to consume equally pungent foods as a sign of their humiliation. As a result, the area evolved a unique cuisine centered on pungent fermented foods like shu dufu. Number 10. Hairy Tofu In keeping with the tofu theme, the Anhui province in East China's Weizhou area has a specialty called hairy tofu. The prepared tofu is coated with white mold after fermentation because of its particular geographic setting. Thus, the snack's name derives from the filaments that sprout on its surface and resemble hair. Many people find the idea of having hair in their meal repulsive, and at a restaurant, they would be sent back to the cooks. There have been hundreds of years of hairy tofu. High-quality soybeans are used to manufacture hairy tofu, which is then put through a number of traditional procedures, including sifting and cleaning, soaking, refining, filtering, pressing, dicing, and fermenting. Jiang Guangming is an inheritor of the intangible cultural heritage. Hairy tofu has a unique taste combination that makes it a favorite among diners. Although some people might perceive tofu to be a little bland, Hairy tofu delivers a flavorful punch, especially when cooked with a variety of spices. Number 9. Bat Soup While some of the films seem to show the creature being sold in the seafood market in Wuhan, the capital of Hubei province, which experts have proposed as a potential source of the virus from 2019, known as the coronavirus, others purport to show people eating soup made from bat flesh. Even as the deadly coronavirus devastated China, a fictitious video of a Chinese woman allegedly eating a bat's wing in a restaurant had netizens scratching their heads. The deadly new virus is said to have originated from a seafood market in the Chinese city of Wuhan that sold snakes, bats, chickens, and other farm animals. A second video shared by a Chinese blogger shows a fine restaurant setting out a bowl of bat soup. The blogger urged viewers in the video's title if they could avoid eating wildlife as he described how these bats dwell in incredibly filthy tunnels. Some people referred to the video the blogger posted as being dirty in their comments. Many also stressed the risk of consuming food made from bats in a nation like China, where the coronavirus is now a concern. According to correspondents online at the time, the new deadly virus had already killed at least 25 people and infected more than 800 more. Number 8. Gutter Oil Buckle up, because this just might be the most disgusting thing you will see all day. Maybe the next time you consider eating Chinese street food, you might think twice. So basically, the use of gutter oil turned out to be pretty common. This refers to a process of pulling waste oil from sewers, grease traps, and waste from slaughterhouses, reprocessing it, and then selling it as cooking oil. The woman in Shenzhen may be seen in these images from a Radio Free Asia, RFA video picking slop from a gutter, courtesy of Max Fisher at the Washington Post. Then, this revolting slop makes its way to the processing facilities where it is combined with an additional animal fat and refined by boiling or filtering. In the end, the oil is used as recycled cooking oil by street vendors and hole-in-the-wall eateries. According to specialists quoted by RFA, gutter oil makes up one-tenth of the cooking oil used in China. The oil is reportedly nasty and also contains carcinogens and other poisons. For many years, China has fought against the practice, and according to sources, a Jiangsu province native was given a life sentence for producing and peddling gutter oil in 2013. Concerns about food safety have long existed in China, but it will probably take some time before authorities can successfully stop the practice in a nation where cooking oil is expensive. Number 7. 
Yin Yang Fish Yin and Yang fish is a controversial dish where the body of a fish is cooked, while the head is kept fresh so that it moves its mouth and eyes while it's being eaten. The world is full of weird foods, but few dishes can be described as truly disturbing. Well, the dish you're about to discover is one such rarity. Reportedly invented in the early 2000s by a restaurateur in Chiai City, Taiwan, yin and yang fish, also known as dead and alive fish, is definitely not a fish for the faint of heart. It consists of a complete fish, often a carp, that has been cooked and coated in sauce but whose head has been left uncooked so that it may still move its mouth and eyes while being consumed. When images and videos of the frightening delicacy began to circulate online in 2007, yin and yang fish began to garner attention in China and Taiwan. It was soon revealed that the meal was a brainchild of a Taiwanese chef who had mastered a unique method of cooking the fish quickly enough that, when it was presented, the mouth and eyes of its raw head were still moving. The videos infuriated both animal rights activists and the general public and yin and yang fish was eventually banned not only in Chai, but throughout the entirety of Taiwan. Despite the chef's assurances that the fish wasn't actually alive and that its mouth and eyes were simply uncontrollable nerve spasms. However, just because the dish was outlawed in the country where it originated doesn't mean it was instantly vanished. In mainland China, where it supposedly continues to be served today, yin and yang fish was adopted. Number 6. Blood Tofu it's a common belief that very little of an animal is wasted in China. The Chinese have devised a number of sophisticated techniques to guarantee that every last nutrient is obtained from each animal sacrificed for food. Blood is no different, and it's not just the Chinese who like to consume it. Blood is utilized all around the world, from Hungary, to just frying it with onions to flavoring sausages. In Britain, black pudding is a well-known delicacy that is created from congealed pig's blood. In France, coke au vin is occasionally thickened with chicken's blood. Walking through a street market in China, it's apparent that almost anything can be turned into a mouth-watering snack simply by skewering it onto a stick. Though it seems improbable, if not impossible, blood is often served on a small wooden skewer as well. This blood has been left to congeal, giving it a more jelly or tofu-like consistency. Congealed blood on sticks isn't hard to find. Most commonly, duck and pig's blood is used to make such tofu, but there are few restrictions on what other animal platelets might be used in this fashion, and preferences vary regionally. Blood tofu on a stick is normally dipped in boiling hot and spicy soup, malatang, to warm it up and cook it slightly before consumption. The flavor is not deceitful. Blood tastes like blood, as though you've bitten your lip. It's not horrible, but hard to imagine eating an entire skewer's worth, no? But actually, the flavor in these skewered blood cubes primarily comes from the spicy, tongue-numbing soup, with just a metallic tinge from the iron in the blood itself. It's hardly anything to write home about, except that telling friends back home you've been eating blood can have a fun, cringeworthy effect. Number 5. Dog Meat the annual dog meat festival in China takes place in Yulin in the southwest on June 22nd. In contrast, the fair was held in 2020 amid a coronavirus epidemic and in spite of a government attempt to enhance animal welfare and lower the hazards connected with marketplaces for live animals. Activists anticipate that this year's Yulin Dog Meat Festival will mark the celebration's final iteration as laws and attitudes change. The inaugural 10-day fair commemorating the summer solstice took place in 2009. Many of the tens of thousands of people who come here each year choose live dogs from crowded cages to cook and eat. Additionally, available are cat meat, fresh lychee fruit, and alcohol. The flesh and other edible components of dogs are known as dog meat. Dog meat eating by humans has been documented throughout history in numerous nations. Dog meat is eaten or legally permitted to be consumed in various nations throughout the world in the 21st century including South Korea, China, Nigeria, Switzerland, and Vietnam. Dog meat intake is prohibited in certain societies, even those where it has historically been practiced, while in others it is seen as a traditional, ceremonial, or everyday component of the diet. In addition, opinions greatly fluctuate amongst areas of various nations. In 2014, it was calculated that people consumed 27 million dogs annually around the globe. Number 4. Geoduck the geoduck is not the most appetizing dish to look at, and it has an unusual name, but it is a pricey delicacy in China. Therefore, on the Pacific coast of North America, farmers are competing to raise them and make money. 
The form is what draws attention initially. It isn't called the king clam for nothing. Its long, probing siphon protrudes from its shell and digs into the sand, drawing seawater and expelling it from its tip without the essential nutrients. When properly spoken, even its name, gooey duck, sounds odd. It may weigh up to 16 pounds, 7.25 kilograms, and is the biggest burrowing clam in the world. But it also has another distinction. Connoisseurs cherish the elephant trunk clam, as it is known in China, for its delicate texture and unique appearance and believe it to be an aphrodisiac. According to Beijing Diner's question by the BBC, you definitely feel a mouthful of the Pacific. It's slippery, it's incredibly delicate, and it's really sweet. Surprisingly, few Americans have ever had geoduck, much less heard of it, despite the fact that it lives on their shores. They won't be numerous around the supper table. As opposed to this, more than 90% of the clams are flown directly to China and Hong Kong. Despite the lucrative nature of the sector, seafood providers are nevertheless having trouble. Number 3. Caitlin Boyd Merida Scientists in China now have hard evidence that eating raw centipedes is a really bad idea. In the majority of the globe, that could go without saying. Centipedes, however, are a recognized treatment in Chinese traditional medicine. The two-inch-long arthropods are intended to be consumed dry, powdered, or after being soaked in alcohol, not uncooked, as an antidote for epilepsy, stroke, cancer, tetanus, or rheumatoid arthritis. A centipede with red heads from Asia, although it might seem appetizing, experts say that it might contain a lungworm that can infect the brain. Some often carry a parasite that, if consumed raw or improperly cooked, can cause rat lungworm illness in humans. Doctors were first baffled when a 78-year-old lady presented to a hospital in Guangzhou, China, in November 2012, complaining of a headache, fatigue, and a stiff neck. Despite having meningitis, the patient showed no symptoms of the illness's causative bacteria or viruses. After that, a test of her CSF fluid showed she had a high concentration of eosinophils, a sign indicating she was battling a parasite infection. That aided the physicians in identifying the offender, a tiny worm with a swirly pattern known as Angiostrongylus cantonensis. Both the mom and her adult son had the sickness caused by rat lungworms. Number 2. Bamboo Stuffed Rice Rice cooked in bamboo tubes is a sort of roasted dish made of rice and various spices and served within a bamboo tube. It is also known as bamboo rice or fragrant bamboo rice. Typically, those who reside in mountainous areas make it. Rice and pork are the major components which are placed in a joint of fresh bamboo with just enough water, covered with banana leaves, and roasted over charcoal until the bamboo becomes black. Bamboo is a robust plant that grows quickly, is inexpensive, plentiful, and frequently used in Yunnan cuisine. The Chimono Calamus kind of bamboo from Zhishuang Bana is required to manufacture real bamboo rice in the style of Yunnan. The only section of the bamboo plant utilized in cooking is the young green portion. The bamboo shaft is split horizontally and filled with a variety of ingredients, such as chopped chicken or pork combined with chili, ginger, coriander, Sichuan pepper leaf, sticky rice, or diced pineapple. The finished dish, a complete meal in a bamboo tube, is delectable and nutritious. Number 1. Beggar's Chicken Don't be fooled by the name Jiahua Ji meaning beggar's chicken which is anything but poor. In fact, some Chinese restaurants list it under the more auspicious name Emperor's Chicken. The recipe varies but starts with a whole chicken, which is stuffed with onion, ginger, Chinese black mushrooms, pickled cabbage, and other preserved vegetables. After that, the chicken is covered in enormous lotus leaves and placed into dirt that has been flavored with cooking wine and salt water. The traditional recipe requires six pounds of mud. The chef often delivers the mud pile and breaks it open in front of the diners, revealing the delicious flesh and exquisite perfume after baking it in continuous heat for three to four hours. The meat is juicy and delicate after hours of simmering inside the lotus leaves, and it readily slips off the bone. Although culinary historians disagree on its exact origins, the majority appears to believe that it originated in one of the Yangtze River cities of Changshu or Hangzhou which are both close to Shanghai. Folklore has it that a beggar stole a chicken from a farm. He heard horses approaching as he started to create a fire. He hid the bird near the fire in the mud out of fear of being captured. After searching for it for hours, he was thrilled to find that he had prepared a delectable meal. 
That concludes today's video on 20 most unusual foods that only exist in China. Which of these dishes did you find the strangest? Well, let us know in the comment section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.